Good morning, lovelies. Zoe 2.2 with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today, there's a few things going on. I'm gonna start with some eggs here, Pop, and I think they're all 5k eggs. But big news from Niantic this morning. Why is that not a 5k? Um, is that sadly the St. Louis, Missouri Safari Zone is being postponed due to health concerns. Um, it's really sad, but I think it is a smart uh, and responsible choice um, as a company that's kind of, you know, could be liable for if people got sick or if they were just, you know, even if they just facilitated an event where, you know, basically uh, the spread of illness was easier through that. Um, I can totally understand why they had to cancel or sorry, cancel and postpone the St. Louis Safari Zone, which is, uh, yeah, it's sad. I'm, I've, um, just today canceled my flight as well. I probably would have still attended if I had booked like a longer stay, but I was pretty much just flying in for the safari and flying out. Uh, and I figured that those funds can then better, like you know, better go towards the rescheduled event or towards another safari later in the year uh, to be able to meet you guys, like, you know, everyone that can actually attend. Keep in mind, if you have got a ticket for this event, uh, you can either get a refund for the ticket, or if you hang on to that ticket, you can uh, play the you know bonuses in your area for your time zone, uh, wherever you are in the world. So for me, I'm going to keep my ticket because I mean, I might as well. Um, and then I'll be playing you know the bonuses in my area. This was actually gonna be the first Safari Zone that Alan was potentially able to attend. So it's gonna be, I don't know, just me and him walking around Newcastle, just like, hey, you got a shiny, um, which is, you know, it'll still be cool to get the event spawns and things like that, but definitely a bit less exciting on, you know, the whole meeting people, social bit. That's always the best bit of the Safari Zone events is the face-to-face, -face, the hi, how are you? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely sad that I'm not gonna have that, but at this stage, the Liverpool event and the uh, Philadelphia event are still going ahead as planned. We'll have an update at the start of April as to what that might be. So cue me waking up on my birthday early April and being like, will we have an event? Cancel. No, like hopefully it doesn't get canceled. I guess to tie you guys in for extra updates and things like that as well. Um, I have already booked my flights and things like that. I was actually I was, I was so organized. I was doing it in advance, wasn't leaving it to the last minute. Uh, I booked my flights already for um, Liverpool, so Australia to Liverpool. Uh, I was gonna stay an extended time in there after the Safari Zone as well for TwitchCon in the Netherlands, go meet up with Reversal and all that jazz. TwitchCon has now been canceled in the Netherlands, but I think at this stage, and check back in when we get closer, at this stage, even if the Safari in London, in Liverpool gets canceled, I will likely still attend and still go to Europe unless like this health thing is, you know, catastrophic levels of just do not travel. Um, I think if it's being managed and it's safe to do so, even if the safari got canceled, I will still come to, uh, to Europe because I've kind of already booked in that extended stay, accommodation, flights, all that jazz. So we will see, tentative for now, but fingers crossed that it all goes smooth. So I guess once again, being the Australian with the time zone advantage, if you wanna see what the safari zone looks like around the world, uh, smash that little bell button down there so you know when I, I'll probably go live for the safari in my time zone. It'll be around, what, it'll be like 1 p.m. P PST. I'm guessing the event would kind of start-ish. A few Saturdays from now. So I guess you guys can get a heads up if you're keeping the ticket as well. I mean, you can't really go back once it's at that point, but hey, it's gonna be something unique uh, and unusual to see. And more than likely, I'm assuming I'll get it first because my Saturday happens first. So yeah, stay tuned slash slap subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, and to any of my Patreon eggies as well, there were particular tiers in Patreon where I was adding you guys and getting to great friend or ultra friend uh, for the St. Louis Safari Zone. If I haven't added you yet, I'm still going to add you because that's only fair um, and just work to the, the nearest, you know, friendship tier that we're up to. And overall for the Patreon eggies, I'm going to do another batch of just the one gift. Um, you know, what we did at Christmas. If you're one of my Patreon supporters at Christmas, I added every single Patreon supporter, no matter what level, sent you guys one gift, you opened it, you deleted me, and hopefully you got like a cool egg out of it or something. So I'm gonna do that again within the next week to two weeks-ish. So keep your eyes out on Patreon for that. Additionally, today there should be, I did a hot lap this morning looking for one, there should be some new raids popping up. Uh, Cresselia in raids, uh, and Registeel in raids, a whole bunch of stuff to kind of gear us up for Go Battle League. I was looking for the 
Skarmory raids because that's one I don't know if I've ever soloed a Skarmory before. I probably have. I can't recall. But I would like to get a couple of those in. Potential shiny checks. I've got that one that we got on the Go Plus, but I'd love to, you know, have a few more to work with for trade value and things like that. But sadly, from all the, the driving around I did, I didn't find any Skarmory raids. It's a bunch of, um, bunch of Haunter I saw, a couple of Cloister, a few Machamps. So I'll keep my peepers out and check back in with you guys when we can find a raid, hopefully. Wow. Uh, after doing a couple of laps around and just general exploring, sadly no Skarmory raids that I could see nearby slash nearby-ish. It is what it is. There's going to be more chances to do those through the week, most likely. Uh, I believe this Friday, depending time zones, etc. Uh, there'll be more fighting types spawning over, you know, the weekend. Uh, and Shiny Timber will be out, so that'll be a good one to try and hunt in there as well. But I'm pretty sure the Skarmory... Uh, and you know, Cresselia are only lasting through the midweek, so keep your peepers out for that. But I figured this might be a good time to evolve a couple of Pokédex entry Pokémon we haven't done yet, uh, maybe learn a few new things and facts about, you know, from their Pokédex entries, because, uh, fun fact, the Pokédex entries for Pokémon vary from game to game. Um, you know, the facts are always the facts, but each installment of different Pokémon series and things like that have a different flavor or new fact revealed about Pokemon, which is kind of fun. So Gaventula is so cute. Oh my gosh. I feel like if Australia has a Safari Zone at some point, I feel like shiny Joltik needs to be a thing. Like spiders are our guys. Uh, so I mean, like, look, this would be fantastic. 96 IV as well, which is the best one I've got so far. What a little cutie. Uh, I don't know if you guys are big yay or nay on spiders. I know. Actually, I realized I haven't done a video at the, um, the reptile park in I realized that was actually probably more than almost two years ago now that we, or we, more, a year and a half since being at the reptile park um, to show you guys some of the cool, you know, kangaroos, koalas. There were some spiders. We gave a spider warning. But uh, if you guys want to watch that video back, it's a bit of an old one, but I'll, I'll link it up here. Let me know. You guys, you guys spider fans or nah? I'm personally catch and release. If there's a spider in the house, I will catch it. I will release it. Uh, and Alan is not. He is like, yo, you've got like two seconds to come in here and get this spider or it's like... <sighs> and nuke it from orbit with uh, spray. So what does Garbantula have to say? When attacked, the creature, they create an electric barrier by spitting out many electrically charged threads. Me, same. Oh, and Joltik attach themselves to large bodied Pokemon and absorb static electricity, which they store in an electric pouch. That's super cute. I'm pretty sure one of the previous generations mentioned that Joltik hang around Mareep a lot because Mareep creates so much static electricity. That's so, so cute. Another one I really, really want to evolve this. I've got a 98 uh, Venipede, which is great. Uh, we're going to evolve this one all the way up. Scolipede is one of my favorites. It is so cute. It's one of those ones where it's like, I don't know. It's not like cutesy cute. It's just stupid cute or like goofy cute. It's just this weird like centaur peed. Yo, centaur peed. Oh my God. He's a cent... He's not a centipede, he's a centaurpede. Oh my gosh. Uh, middle Evo. Mm, I'm not too crazy. Oh, I thought he would totally roll. He doesn't even roll. Okay. Cool. Let's evolve him all the way up. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Centaurpede. I wonder if that's how some of these Pokemon are created. Like just smashing down words into two separate words. Look at him. What a little legend. Scolipede. I used to always call it Scoliopede, which is <laughs> not great. Uh, but I mean, he does kind of have a bit of like scoliosis going on, but it looks, look at this spine, look at that curve. Mm. But like, he's stupid cute. I really want to take him into a AR plus. Such a weird looking Pokemon. I love it. And 98, which is, is that 98? No, that's 96, I think. 96. Might be. Is what it is. I'm going to name him Centaurpede. Beautiful. With quick movements, it chases down its foes, attacking relentlessly with its horns until it prevails. Wow, yikes. Do not annoy your local Scolipede. Whirlipede, uh, usually motionless. Okay. Okay, okay. So if it, if it actually gets attacked, then it's going to speed up and bump into you. And Venipede can help protect itself with its poison from the burbs that want to eat it. Such a little cute nugget. I love it. Let's also go with the theme of Go Battle League this month as well. Let's never mind, I don't have enough candies, ignore that. With the theme of the Research Breakthrough Box this month not being that potentially exciting, I have got a Lucky Ferris Seed. It's not 
not the greatest IVs because that's how I go with my lucky trades apparently. Um, but I mean, I've got enough candies to evolve a second one if I do get a better one through this month's research. So I'm not too stressed about the candy situation here. Let's evolve Ferrothorn up into, no, Ferroth Seed into Ferrothorn. This bad boy also, uh, apparently really, really good in PVP. If you can get the right IVs, which you'd have to, if you do your breakthrough boxes, trade them back and forth with a friend to get like kind of worse IVs will be optimal for Great League. Uh, sadly, my only wild one that I've caught was one IV being off the second best for PVP. That one IV made it rank like 3000 and something. And I was like, well, never mind. Never mind. Ferrothorn, attach themselves to cave ceilings, firing, firing steel spikes at targets, passing beneath them. That's kind of rude. Wow, I would not have expected them to be cave dwelling. That's really weird. I would have totally thought they'd be like in fields and stuff. It absorbs iron it finds in rocks while clinging to the ceiling. Shoot spikes when in danger. Okay then, now I have another thing to fear when I go canyoning or uh, exploring. Let's go one last one. Let's go a bit of a, let's go some shiny spice, I think. We'll save some of the other dex entries for later on. What is some shiny spice? Th this. This is some shiny. Actually, if you see something here that you want me to evolve, leave a comment, guys. But this is some shiny spice. Shiny Poochiana into shiny Mightyana. This one was from... Did I go plus? I feel like I go plus one of these ones. Because I've got the traded one from Gilly. There was one that I got in Chicago that I traded on to someone else, I'm pretty sure, or I've got it available to trade. I have a feeling that I go plus to this one, which is great. So, evolve away. I've not seen Shiny Mightyena in my game yet, so let's, let's go. Ba -na -na -na. Oh, the little blue nose and the blue eyes. I love like gold, brown and blue together. I think it's like a really nice color combo. Very cool. Another good candidate for uh, AR+. Plus. That is a really creepy animation. I guess it is kind of like Hyena style. Maybe I should, it should be Mightyena or Mightyena, because it's like a bit of a Hyena dog. Ah, uh, either way. Either way, and if you have a nickname for any of these ones that you think would be fitting for my shinies, leave a comment down below for uh, potential nicknames. So I'm gonna keep it short and sweet for you guys. Plenty more exploring to come this week. So much happening in the month of March. I, again, I still need to kind of rest up and get better. I am still not feeling 100% fantastic on top of the world quite yet. So go when I can take those opportunities to take it easy uh, and try and rest up and recover so I can just be like, go get them for you guys. And yeah, again, sucks about St. Louis, but it, at this point it is what it is and we just have to do the right thing and make healthy choices to hopefully make it so that globally we can avoid the spread of this illness and all collectively bounce back within a couple of months hopefully ideally optimistically if we can kind of shut it down stop it from spreading uh then that means we can have free reign for the rest of the year hopefully future events aren't impacted by this so yeah let me know if you guys were attending Safari Zone St. Louis as well, what do you intend to do? Are you gonna go for that refund option? Are you gonna play just with your local friends and players? Are you still just gonna to go to Missouri because you can't cancel your flights and just play with other trainers? What are you planning to do? And do you think this was the right idea as well from Niantic? I think it is the, the smart and the healthy and the reasonable choice. If I remove my emotion from the situation and remove the whole, I just had to you know cancel a flight and I can't see friends and you lovelies. If I remove that emotion from it, it, it's the smart choice to do. So what do you guys think? Like, let me know. I'm always reading the comments and always interested in what you guys have to say. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.